General Hospital spoilers tease that Dante Falconeri has successfully prevented his father, Sonny Corinthos, from turning himself into the police, following the death of FBI agent John Cates. Alexis Davis is soon to be freed, but that doesn't mean Sonny will get away with his crimes. Sonny is about to find himself at the center of a storm, seemingly impossible to escape. The Port Charles Police Department continues its relentless investigation into the Cates murder, and the case is far from closed. Despite the many unexpected developments, one fact remains clear, until the real killer is found, the investigation will not stop. With Alexis Davis now out on bail, the pressure on the PCPD to solve this case is increasing, and their focus is becoming more intense. Sonny knows that it's only a matter of time before the police close in on him. As the walls begin to close in, Sonny begins to contemplate the unthinkable, turning himself into the police. It wasn't just a passing thought as the weight of guilt weighed heavily on him, and he knew that continuing to hide from the truth would only make things worse. Sonny was a man of power and influence, but even he knew that there were limits to what he could control. His instincts told him that if he didn't act soon, the consequences would be dire, not just for him, but for those he loved. The next time Sonny considered going to the police, it wouldn't just be a passing thought, it could become a reality. And when that happened, it was almost certain that Sonny would succeed in turning himself in. But the possibility of Sonny being in custody didn't just affect him. His family, Michael Corinthos and Carly Spencer, were caught up in the situation. Both Michael and Carly know about Sonny's involvement in the crimes, and they have taken steps to protect him, even hiding the truth. In doing so, they have crossed a dangerous line, one that puts them at risk of being charged as accomplices. Their loyalty to Sonny may ultimately come at a high price, as their own freedoms are now at stake. The PCPD's investigation is coming to a close, and they will stop at nothing to uncover every detail of the crime. Diane Miller, the sharp and resourceful attorney who has fought alongside the Corinthos family in countless legal battles, knows that the stakes have never been higher. Diane is determined to fight tooth and nail to protect Sonny, Michael, and Carly from the threat of prison. However, even she is beginning to realize that her options are limited. Diane may be one of the best lawyers in the business, but there is only so much she can do with the evidence against them. The complexity of the case, combined with the pressure from the authorities, means that she can only save one person from the harsh consequences that are about to come. As the trial progresses, Diane faces an agonizing decision. She can only fully represent one client, and that client will have the best chance of freedom. After much deliberation, it becomes clear that Carly is the one who can receive Diane's full attention. Carly, as the mother of Sonny's children and the person who has been at the center of the Corinthos family for many years, is probably the person Diane feels the most need to protect. This means that Sonny, despite Diane's best efforts, will likely face the reality of prison. It also means that Michael, the loyal son who would defend his father at all costs, may not escape the consequences of his actions. The prospect of Sonny going to prison is almost unbearable, but the consequences for his family could be even more devastating. Michael now faces the possibility of being charged as an accomplice to Sonny. His once prideful loyalty now threatens to drag him down with his father. The weight of guilt weighs heavily on Michael, and while Diane may do everything she can to get his sentence reduced, there is only so much she can do. The odds are stacked against Michael, and the thought of him following Sonny to prison is no longer a distant fear but a very real possibility.